Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's the 6th of May 2021 and the free Super Hornet mod is now available. Now take note that this is not a standalone mod. This replaces the FA-18C module that you would have bought. So if you don't want to lose your FA-18C, at least temporarily while you've got this mod, please do not install it. You'll start with this download link here and I'll have this in the video description so you can get to it. There are two zip files and you need both of them. I found the best way of doing this is to right click, download, and download a zip. If I download it as a standard download, it just doesn't work properly for some reason. So download as a zip and it will take a while. Uh, once it's done, then we get the two files in here. That archive for the skin pack, that archive for the mod, you need both. At this point, let's have a look at the mod and do the credits. This readme is attached within that second zip file. Thank you for downloading the Chiller Juice Studios Superbug. We hope you enjoy flying the Super Hornet as much as we do. This mod uses the standard FA-18C cockpit and systems with an accurate 3D exterior model for the E, F and the G. The external flight model, systems modeling and other assets are the same as the Aerodynamics FA-18C Hornet module. And the credits because you always got to credit people. There's the credits if you want to see who is involved in the project thus far. I like Muscle Matt. There are some instructions here, but I'm going to show you how to do it my way. I'm not saying my way is the best, it's just how I like to do things. So, first, we need to back up our old files. That means we're going to go to our game directory. For me, that's eDrive, DCS World Open Beta, Core Mods. This is extremely precarious. You must make sure you do exactly click for click as I do now, otherwise you will ruin your game. So, Aircraft, FA-18C, right-click, Copy. We're then going to create a backup area. So I've created D drive backup area. Backup. Within that I've created core mods. Within that I've created aircraft. Right click, paste, and you can see I've backed up my old FA18C from the core mods. Next, back to game directory. Game directory there. Mods. Aircraft. Same thing. FA18C. Right click. Copy. Next, back to backup. Backup area. Mods. Again, a folder I've created aircraft a folder I've created in there right click paste and you can see I've already backed up FA18C so that's the backup next let's install the mod so back to our game directory eDrive CS world let's look in our zip files this one here superbug superbug core mods aircraft right click copy back to our install directory core mods aircraft right click paste in fact, I'll do it properly just so you can see me doing it. So back here, right click. Oops, not cut. <laughs> Definitely don't cut it. Copy. Paste. Yes, replace the old files. As long as you're extremely happy that everything's been backed up properly. Next, in the zip file. Mods. Aircraft. Get this FA18C. Copy. Back in my installation directory. Mods aircraft paste in here it's going to paste over the other fa18c done next we need to install at least three of the skins for this to work properly so to our downloads area to our download skin pack in here and what you're going to find is that you can't open because that is two and a half gig it's too big to open so what you're going to do is right click copy make a temporary folder somewhere on your desktop here is a temporary folder, paste, and it will paste out here. Now you can open the skin pack. In there, you get E, F, and Growler skins. Lots of them. To get the absolute basic of what you need to run this mod, we're going to go one skin of each type. Echo skin, right-click, copy. I've just chosen the top one, okay? Then, back to our game directory. Here, core mods, aircraft, FA-18C liveries on it here are the existing skins and we're going to add our own ones so right click paste there, there's ab300 don't worry about the format back to here a foxtrot skin copy paste and finally the growler skin that one there copy paste that is the mod, fully installed with everything you need to get it to run and work. There were lots of button presses in there and clicking and moving and copying. If you do any of them wrong, like I said, it won't work and you'll almost certainly ruin your game. 
and I'm not sure how you get it back. So please be extremely careful if you want to install this mod. Let's start up DCS. Mine is the latest open beta version, 6 May 2021. In DCS now, now the good thing is we don't have to set any controls up. It will use the FA-18C controls. Next, let's go and make a mission and put all three variants of the aircraft in. So, mission editor, create new mission. Caucuses, go. Let's go and use Batumi because why not? So, new aircraft group, click it there. Coalition USA, type, superbug. Skill, client, type, start from parking hot. Next, let's copy that. So left control C and then left control V. Whoops. V to make another one. And make another one. That's three times super bugs. Now we're going to make them the E, the F, and the G model. And we're going to do that by clicking on that one there. Going to payload there. Choosing the skin will give it the correct model. So that there is an echo variant with a single pilot. That there, payload is skin there is the foxtrot model with the wizzo and that there and i know nothing about this variant but i know it's called a g a growler that one there twin pilot and it has these uh, uh, electronic warfare type pods there that's them set up i won't bother saving i'm going to go straight in let's choose this one which is the echo okay in the cockpit it's basically the fa18c the only differences i found so far and i may be wrong here but is the ufc you can see it's a superbug format. And for me, I can't actually get this working. Let me know if you think I'm doing anything wrong. But I should be able to click on these various options and it doesn't work for me. Let's go to the rearm screen. Pylons 1 and 9 are the same missiles as we had before. Pylons 2 and 8, same missiles as far as I'm aware. Same air-to-ground missiles. Same bombs, I'm pretty sure. Fuel tank is the only difference here. We can have a high vis fuel tank 3 and 7. Same missiles. Same missiles. Same bombs, and just the fuel tank again. Islands 4 and 6 on the belly, same missiles, and we've got our Atfler here. Pylon 5, I think the same bombs. Fuel tanks, or a ALQ-99 jammer. With the fuel tanks we get the buddy pod. That should, I believe, allow us to air-to-air -air refuel another Hornet. As far as I can see, I can't get it working. Again, let me know if you've got any instructions of how to do that. And in the MISC slot, we've got a wing mounted ALQ-99 jammer or a flag, a US flag in particular. Let's arm up. Request refueling. And you can see my lovely flag there. Now in terms of actually flying and just about all operations including carrier operations I can't find a difference with the original FA-18C Legacy fighter. Again let me know if you guys find something. I haven't had a vast amount of time check but nothing obviously changed next let's go to the f model cockpit is the same and we only have the front cockpit we can actually fly in you can see we've got the wizard back there but again as far as i can see i can't actually be that guy so at the time being it's only front cockpit in terms of armament again as far as i can see it's the same as the echo model i think it looks quite cool with a twin cockpit Finally, the Growler. It's quite a cool looking plane. Those uh, pods on the side look quite menacing. In terms of armament, the same as the Echo and the Foxtrot. Again, in terms of operation, just the same as the FA-18C. I've got nothing else really to point out. Let me know if you guys find any other major differences. One more thing I want to show you is how to uninstall it if you want to go back to the old Hornet. So, for me, my game directory, DCS World Open Beta, Core Mods, Aircraft, FA-18C, Delete. Back to DCS World Open Beta, Mods, Aircraft, FA-18C, Delete. Then we're going to go to our backup area, so let's zip, 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 find that backup mods aircraft f18c i'll just cut that put it back in here back up core mods aircraft f18c cut installation directory core mods aircraft paste that's it 
everything back to normal FA18C. Go and have some fun. I hope that was useful and see you later.